Fumi Olopade, a professor of medicine, and uh, I was trained as a medical doctor at the University of Ibadan in Nigeria, and I came here to do my residency at Cook County Hospital and fellowship at the University of Chicago. I've been at the University of Chicago since 1987, and I now practice breast cancer oncology as well as cancer risk assessment. I, I came from Nigeria and my father actually was a minister, uh, a pastor, and uh, one of the things that was uh, very um, keen to my decision to be a doctor was the fact that we had a lot of our church members who came to our house looking for help. And of course my father couldn't help everybody, and so he figured, well, if he has a doctor in the family, maybe that would help. So from early on, I really... Uh, known that uh, doctors can help relieve pain and suffering and so I you know went to medical school and I've been really um, blessed to have a career in oncology where I can be present for my patients uh, you know a cancer diagnosis is a tough one and so when anyone has that you want a doctor who is there who can empathize with you and so I think that's why I chose to do oncology because it really gives me that patient contact that I want and I want to be able to help patients. In oncology, you realize that, you know, it's a disease that in most cases isn't curable and what you want to do is do research to one day be able to say, guess what, we have a cure for cancer and I know that the University of Chicago is at the forefront of taking care of patients as well as really leading the way in research. So I wanted to really have a very strong research component to my work and that's why I chose to come to the University of Chicago and you know 17 years later I'm glad I came. The most important thing when I see a patient of mine who's really worried, everyone is anxious, they've been diagnosed with cancer, what next? So the most important thing is to really get the patient to um, trust that you know what you're saying, to establish that trust, to establish that comfort level, to make the patient realize that you're gonna go through this journey with them because they're beginning a new journey. You know, they were well a week ago and now they're seeing a doctor. So, you know, that's an initial shock of that. And, uh, and once we know that, you know, we have plans, most patients generally then relax and they want to get on with the plan. And I often say, well, you know, breast cancer or any cancer doesn't start overnight. And the most important thing is to carefully plan uh, treatment. Cancer is one disease that affects the family. It's not just an individual. And for the treatments that we offer, we know that it really helps when you can have your friends, your relatives be part of the treatment plan. And so, yes, our consultation rooms are large enough that we have three, four, five people in the room, and we welcome that. We want to involve the family members as much as possible, but we do understand that sometimes people don't have their family members living in a big city like Chicago with them. And so we ask, you know, do you have a friend, a church member, somebody who you go to theater with, you know, just a colleague who cares about you. Anyone you can bring to your appointment is very helpful to us. When you work at the University of Chicago, your patients are your best teachers because you get to work and you realize that there are challenges in taking care of them and then you go home and you think some more and on the days when you're not in the clinic the University of Chicago allows you to think about research and so I really want to understand why women get breast cancer. I want to know the genes that are altered when breast cancer develops 
I want to develop new treatments uh, that would be more effective than what we currently have. And then I want to prevent breast cancer so that, you know, if you understand what causes it and we can know the risk factors, then, you know, it would be like taking a shot so that you don't get the flu. The University of Chicago has always been known for the interdisciplinary research. We don't work in isolation. We have colleagues that are super smart, and that really creates a wonderful working environment. Because when I'm stumped, my friend next door, my colleague, who is also a friend, might have a better idea than I do. And so we always really work together, putting our heads together to solve problems. So one of the things that's really important about uh, getting treatment at the University of Chicago is we're one of the very few institutions in the entire country that develops new drugs for cancer treatment. And so we talk about you know, the treatments of tomorrow you can get at the University of Chicago today. It's very important for a newly diagnosed patient to know that there are options of participating in clinical trials. And I think by participating in clinical trials, uh, that's really the only way that we've been able to continue to improve how we treat cancer. And what people take for granted as the standard of care now, probably wasn't available 20 years ago, but through research, we were able to get to that. One of the things that the National Cancer Institute is doing is to really bring excellence in research excellence in clinical care and you know bringing clinicians and researchers together so that we can deliver that to the patient and uh, we're one of uh, very few centers in the country that's a specialized program of research excellence in breast cancer and we are part of a national network to really bring the best science to the patient's bedside so having, we call it a spore, having a spore really gives us sort of a seat at the table where all the innovative technologies, all the innovative science that are going to continue to improve the lives of breast cancer patients are being discussed nationally and then are being studied locally here at the University of Chicago.